Hi everyone, my name is Abby Lyons and welcome to the ninth day of the 15 day songwriting challenge. Today we're going to be talking about what a verse is, how to write one, and also the similarities and differences between your first verse and your second verse. So, so far in the songwriting challenge we've talked about different steps in the songwriting process, like how to write lyrics, how to write a chord progression, and how to write melodies, but this is the first time we're actually going to write a section of a song, so we're finally going to be putting all of these parts together. So be sure to download the free template in the description to help you with your writing and if you're over on Patreon then you can also download the extra templates and resources over there. So the verse is the storytelling part of the song. Your song is typically going to start with a verse and you're usually going to have two to four verses in a song. Each one will be about four to eight lines long. So the lyrics in the verse, like I said, are going to be telling the story. So the lyrics in the verse are going to have a lot of detail and this is the part of the song where you really describe the story and you want to write it as if you're telling the story to your best friend. So put in as much detail as you can and really be as honest as you can as well. You're probably going to have longer lines of text in the verse in comparison to what you'll have in the chorus, which is pretty normal since, like I said, this is the storytelling part. This is where you're going to put the bulk of your text for the song. And then in terms of rhyme scheme, you do want to have one for the verse. You could maybe use an ABAB rhyme scheme or ABCB. And that second one is going to give you a little more flexibility in terms of what you can say because you only have to be concerned about having one rhyme. Then for the melody in the verse, I like to think of the melody in this part as a talking melody as opposed to in the chorus where you have more of a singing melody and this is my own way of interpreting it but here are a few reasons why this is kind of like the talking part of the song. So in the verse, you might want to use a melody that's more in your speaking register so it's going to be lower in your register as opposed to when you get to the chorus then you might want to sing a higher melody. Then and also, since you have more text in the verse anyway, your note values are probably going to be shorter rhythmically. So this is in contrast again to the chorus where you might stretch out some of those rhythms and stay on notes longer. In the verse it's going to be a little more rapid since you want to get through all the text, you're going to have shorter rhythmic values on each note. So it might be something like da 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 so you can hear how those <laughs> note values go kind of quickly. And then another way it's kind of more of a talking melody is because you might want to use more repeated notes in this melody as well as notes that are closer together interval wise. So you're kind of staying around the same area more or less with this melody. So the verse melody doesn't necessarily need to be catchy. You can save that for the chorus. Your verse really just needs to tell the story and it needs to serve the chorus. If you do, however, happen to write two catchy melodies, one for the verse and one for the chorus, and your verse melody doesn't overshadow the catchiness of your chorus melody, then that is A-OK -okay too. That is awesome. <laughs> so earlier in this challenge we talked a little bit about writing melodies and we talked briefly about a question and answer type of melody. So this is when you have two short melodies that are very similar but the endings are slightly different. So the first melody is going to end in a way that sounds like a question and then the second melody ends in a way that sounds like an answer. So here's a very simple example of that. Here's one melody that sounds like a question. Da, 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 da. And then here's the second melody that is almost the same, but it's going to end with a different note, so it sounds like an answer. Da, 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 da. So this is a nice way to write verse melodies as well. Let's say that you have four lines of text. In that first line, you're going to use a really simple melody, and then in the second line, you're going to use a melody that ends with a question. So here's an example. Here's the first line melody, da, 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 really simple. Then here's the second line melody, da, 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 da. Then in your third line, you're going to use the same melody as you had in the first line. So da, 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 da. And then the fourth line, you're going to have the same melody as the second line, but you're going to end it with an answer. So da, 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 da. So then here's the whole thing together. Da, 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 
哒哒哒，哒哒哒哒，哒哒哒哒。And then we have a four-line melody. <laughs> So in terms of your chord progression for the verse, there aren't really any rules. You just want to make sure that the chord progression fits with your melody. Maybe you could think about keeping the chord progression a little more plain in the verse and then a little more interesting in the chorus, but even that is just an idea. It doesn't happen all the time. You might have the same chord progression for the entire song, but let's figure out a chord progression that goes with that little melody that I just came up with. So the first part to figuring out your chord progression is to figure out which pitches you're singing in your melody. And I was on da, that pitch, which is right here. It's an F. And so an F chord would go with that melody if we have da, 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 da. And then I might go to D minor, which is similar to F. Da, 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 da. Then back to F. Da, 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 da. Then D minor again. Da, 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 da. So if I add a little strumming pattern, let's hear how it sounds. Da 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 da. So it already sounds a little bit like real music. And then I also want to talk about the similarities and differences between your first verse and your second verse. So with your verses, you are going to have the same melodies. So when you have the first line melody in your first verse, that's going to be the same melody as the first line in your second verse. Same with the second line, same with the third, same with the fourth. You should have the same melodies. And of course there are exceptions to this, but let's follow the rules for now and make up the same melodies for each verses. Then you're also going to have the same chord progressions. So if you use C, G, A minor, F in the first verse, you're going to have the same thing in the second verse. But you are going to have different lyrics between the two verses. So oftentimes the second verse is going to expand the story from the first verse and it's going to tell us something new. So be careful that you're not saying the exact same thing in the second verse as your first verse because this might get a little bit boring and also it's a really good opportunity to give the audience some more information to go even deeper into the story. It's also nice to provide some kind of structure for the two verses if you can. So let's say for example in the first verse you're telling a story and everything happened in the fall. So you're keeping it very fall themed. Then in the next verse you might keep it winter. Everything in the second verse happened in winter. Another really common example that was more a little bit off the wall. A really common example is to have that first verse be I language and the second verse be you language. So that really structures the two verses and keeps them separate. Then even though you have different lyrics, you also want to have the same rhyme scheme. So if you have an A, B, A, B rhyme scheme in the first verse, you want to do the same thing in the second verse. This doesn't mean that you keep the same word stems exactly. So if you have like day and way in the first verse, you don't have to rhyme with those words and continue with like say and may. They can be a different rhyme. They just have to be the same rhyme scheme. Then you also want to think about the weak and strong syllables that you're establishing in the first verse. So let's say that your meter is something like da, 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 da. Then same thing in the second verse as best as you can. So basically you establish all of the patterns and the rules in the first verse and then you want to match them in the second verse. And this can get a little tricky. This is the part that's really going to feel a bit like a puzzle. So if you like word puzzles like me, then you are going to like this part. It is sometimes frustrating as well, but just try it. Do the best you can. So your assignment for today is to write two verses, write your first verse and write your second verse, and you can use your past assignments to help you with this project. So the first thing you might want to look at is the rhyme scheme assignment that you had where you wrote a four line rhyme scheme. This might be your first verse and then maybe you just have to write a second verse. You also might want to go back to that original writing that you did in one of the very first lessons 
lines where you just did a stream of consciousness writing and see if there are any lines there that would inspire a first verse or a second verse. And it's really nice to pick out those lines because they're kind of gonna be a little more organic than the ones that you come up with now, possibly. You might also wanna look at the song form assignment when you mapped out the different sections of your songs and you gave a theme for each section. You also might want to look at the chord progressions that you ended up liking and the melody that you wrote. Maybe those two can help with your verse as well. So look at all those past assignments to help you with this one. There's going to be a new template down below that's going to help you answer all of those questions as well. And of course, if you're on Patreon, there are extra templates and resources over there. So let us know in the comments what your verses are going to be about. You can share them with us if you would like. Also, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Tomorrow, we are going to be talking more about chord progressions. So I will see you for that lesson. Good luck with writing your first section. I hope it goes really well. Thanks for watching. Bye.